and I'm sure you can understand. And if you don't understand, <laughs> <tough. laughs> I mean, you're not living your life to the fullest. It doesn't mean that you've done it wrong. It doesn't mean that um, you've done anything wrong at all. You're still doing it right, even when. Um, honey. Yeah. You're supposed to put that ladybug outside, not keep by your chair. But I'm. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability, Ability Life. Life. the 2nd of December we are gonna go and get our Christmas tree um, it's actually already one in the afternoon I've been busy all morning editing the vlog from yesterday because there was so much going on yesterday and I've just had to put a message up on Facebook to say sorry the vlog is gonna be up late so sorry the vlog was up late yesterday if it was up late which it probably will be because one o'clock now with four o'clock this tree place closes and we want time to pick out the right Christmas tree so forgive us but you know Christmas tree it's just so important and I'm sure you can understand and if you don't understand <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the most understanding people in the world but when it comes to Christmas psh, get out <laughs> hey at least I'm honest <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's your way or no way, right? When it comes to Christmas, it's my way or the highway. <laughs> so, yeah, apologies, the vlog is going up late, but, you know, like, Christmas tree, it's highly important, and um, that's where we're heading now. So, i got to get wrapped up warm, and I'm not forgetting my hat. Guys, okay, wrapping up, I want to tell you something. So... I'm sharing this, even though it kind of, it upsets me, it's something that me and John go through every year, <laughs> that's my hat, we're not forgetting my hat this time, I have a very set way that I like to do things at Christmas, let me get you in with me on this way, and you can help me explain this a little bit as we go along. She is stickler for perfection. <laughs> I am, but I, I, have, I have, I have a set way as in like, I like to make my mince pies on the day we put the Christmas tree up and I like to put all the decoration. I like everything done on the same day, don't I normally? I Gosh. used to. But I don't have... Well, you still want it. I still, yes, I still want it. And I would love it. But I don't have the energy I used to have several years ago. So we now do it over two, sometimes three days, don't we? Yeah. So it takes us longer to put the decorations and things up and the tree up. And sometimes, as much as I want to make the mince pies the day the tree goes up, that's not the case because I just don't have enough energy. And as much as I'm happy because it's Christmas, deep down I feel a little upset because I can't do what I used to do. And John in the background is reminding me, it's okay. It's fine. It's, it's it's okay. okay. It's just spreading it out longer, and you know, it's 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 re. We have the entire month of December for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. You know what they did to put it in one day. But it is taking me. It's taken me a long time, and I'm still accepting these changes of in my life. It's gonna be. A, you cannot accept. Okay, the very few people can accept changes very fast, or and everyone that tells you they are is lying. Yes. 
And, and I think too, because each year I've deteriorated a bit more, yeah. so we have to change the way we do things each year as well. So I go in wholeheartedly with this plan of, right, I'm going to do this on this day, this on this day, this on this day, da 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 da. And it doesn't happen the way I want it. And there is a time I will break down <laughs> and I will get upset because it didn't go the way I planned. And that's why I just stuck for cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. you don't. You support me. You, you're actually like remind me that it's okay and yeah. But the problem, problem is, when you get that upset sometimes, even that doesn't help you. So that's what I mean. No. I reassure you, but that kind of just like yeah, I gotta let you get through it on your own at the same time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm always here supporting her, but there's always that. No matter, no one can convince her. Otherwise. The reason I wanted to share you that with, with that with you guys because I'm pretty sure many of you go through exactly the same thing. Everybody with disabilities, chronic illness, especially when you've got deteriorating one, where you change from, you know, your condition is constantly changing and you can do less and less. You have to keep readjusting and relearning how to do things, spread it out more, and you have to take days resting, time resting, and it does get frustrating. It's not like I mean, you'll hear even me say it, like, do the best you can, take, make the most out of your life and live to the fullest. But living to the fullest is not necessarily trying to do everything you can all at once. It is having a good morning and then resting for several days so that you can have another good morning somewhere. It, do you, does yeah. that make sense? That's what I mean by that. Don't go thinking that living to the fullest is you have to try and find the energy to do everything all at once. That's like, for example, you, you plan to, to come home yesterday, get the vlog done, get everything so literally what, what's care left, we're going, going out, going out today for the tree, first thing. Plans always change. Yeah, I got too tired, I was too tired to finish the vlog, so... The computer was fighting you. Yeah, and then I went to go to bed, then pain kicked in, and that was it, I couldn't sleep very well, and so, yeah. you know, think... Your health just changes the way that plans tend to go. And, and do you know what? It's okay. That's perfectly okay. It's fine. It doesn't mean you're not living your life to the fullest. It doesn't mean that you've done it wrong. It doesn't mean that um, you've done anything wrong at all. You're still doing it right. Even when it all goes wrong, you're still doing it right. Yeah. Everything's still okay. Everything can always still wait for another day. As long as you are putting yourself first and you make sure that your health is looked after first. And sometimes you need to think about the other half. Just sometimes. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love I you, know, honey. I, 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 I do I, love I, you. I, I understand that. But I uh, are you back at him? It was. Um, so, yeah, we are hat on. I'll try that again. Are we are hat on? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's kept up the back. Uh, I was like, what the? I was like, what? Kinda hat on. And um, we're headed out the door. But, yeah. <laughs> Still kind of. I'll get it in a minute with John's help. But, Merry Christmas, everybody, and welcome to our chaotic Christmas. <laughs> a crazy Christmas. A lee jolly Christmas. A lee jolly Christmas. Amazon truly deliver wherever you go. Even in your van. <laughs> That's my um new tablecloth, Christmas tablecloth, and something John ordered. So they delivered it while we were clamping me into the van. Now we're going to get our Christmas tree.
fluted away. We bring the ladybug back with our Christmas tree. How cute is that? The ladybug and a Christmas tree. Go put it in the bushes. It might fly away like I did earlier. It'd be better in the bushes than on the road. Don't want it to get squished. It. Do you fly? No, it's, it's landing. It's, it landed in the car. In the car? Yeah, it went in the front. <laughs> oh. Ladybug, you need to go in the bushes, silly ladybug. We have already done quite a few things since we come back with the tree. I couldn't recall much when we were picking up the tree because I kept getting stuck in the mud, which is quite amusing. I said I wasn't going to come in the lounge with my chair at the moment because it's covered in mud and we clean the floor. I've already come to this bit, so I'll go quickly out. But look. New tablecloth, I'll show you it better later. Well, I'm not going I just said that on the camera. I only went halfway and you can see where it went. Yeah. So that should be easy to brush and mop quickly. So when we brought the Christmas tree back, it is absolutely infested. <laughs> A few. A lot. <laughs> So far, well, okay, yeah, right so far we've at least counted. So what happened when we got a ride back here, John found a ladybug and then I found one on my lap. <laughs> and then we brought the tree, he picked the tree up and he's like, uh, there's a lot of ladybugs on this tree. So I said to John, you might want to take the tree outside and give it a shake. And he decided to wait on that because he needed to go to the shop and stuff like that. So other insects have come off it and they're up by the light, which we think of fruit flies. Well, we're used to them from the bin area. So they may not come off the tree. They may have come off the bin area. Um, so we, I can get rid of them really easy. If you have problems with fruit flies, vinegar and garlic. Fresh garlic. Cut it up really, really small. Put it in fresh vinegar and leave that in cups around. Gets rid of fruit flies. I'm just taking the wrapping off the tree and John's going to give it a shake out here. Um, what's happened basically is the ladybugs are hibernating in the Christmas tree along with probably other bugs to be honest. They've come into the warmth of my flat and they did in same in the van. They came in the warmth of the van and they thought it was spring because of the warmth. So they started coming out of unhibernation and coming out of the main uh, bar, uh, what do you call that bit in the middle? Trunk. Trunk. And out onto the branches, thinking it was spring and they could go do what they do in spring. So, bless their hearts, hopefully, maybe they'll go that way and well, find my rose bushes. I'll have to come up here somewhere. Yeah, but they'll do my rose bushes some goods. Yeah. But it's a beautiful tree. Beautiful tree. And it's literally freshly cut down today. We got we literally picked the one we wanted and they got the electric chainsaw and took it out and then took the look. This is what you call the tree dance. <laughs> 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 he was doing it better just now when I in, when I didn't have the camera on. <laughs> oh, I think it needs more of a shaking than that. I, what do you want me to do? I, 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 I can see a ladybug there. Definitely the tree dance. <laughs> Okay, tree is coming in the house. Somehow. <laughs> Bye, honey. <laughs>
Well, you picked it, not me. No, 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 no. You picked it with me. No, I just agree with what you said. Uh, 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 no, we're not playing that game. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You're not blaming me. You were there. I could not walk around. Um, that's a big tree. <laughs> I don't think your computer's staying in the lounge. <laughs> Realities of wheelchairs. Mud. When you go out. Mud, 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 mud. And, and, and some of this is what causes the floor to get like this. You think about it, most people wear shoes and you, can, you get muddy, you get dirty, you take your shoes off inside. I can't take my wheels off inside. <laughs> So, it's reality, that's, that's just life, that's wheelchair life. Um, right now, my wheels are literally filthy. She beautifully dirty. Okay, she's a nice wheel mark in the floor. <laughs> What's even funnier is we have wheelchair services coming tomorrow. And it's not messing up. Huh? Yeah, it's not messing up anymore. Only probably because it's filled with mud again, so we probably filled it up so it can't click. Yeah, so it's bare. It's bare so I can tell you it was clicking before mud hit it. That, that means the bear is dead. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Um. He told me not to go, not to get the wheels muddy. So we're gonna try and get rid of the mud before he realizes that I've been in the mud again. I'm hoping we're gonna tell tomorrow. Yeah, I know. But it's life, isn't it? I mean, the amount of mud is an understatement on that chair right now. I think it looks good. My chair, it looks good with mud. It, it, you know, it's just about living, isn't it? It's just showing that you use it, that's all. Exactly. <laughs> um, honey. Yeah? You're supposed to put that ladybugs outside, not keep them by your chair. But I'm saving them for later. There's already two on our, on our headrest. But I want them for my rose bush. I reckon my chair is probably crawling in them. <laughs> There's one even side of the headrest. How cute! <laughs> Would be surprised if you actually have qu quite a bit of lighter bikes on your chair. There's another one. No, it 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 flew off. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Where'd it go? Ah, oh, ladybugs everywhere! They always say if you count the number of dots, it tells you how old they are. One, two, three... Six. They always seem to have six. Where did that one go then? I don't know. I wasn't... And I don't want to... I don't want to squash it. Take the camera. Uh, well, oh. <laughs> what is this? On your collar. The <laughs> ladybugs on me. Look, look at it on the camera. It's so cute. Ladybugs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that was like going through the jungle on my hair, my arm. Quick, get it. It's running around in circles. I reckon that's older. But look at that one right there. It's like going through like the. the it looks <laughs> like it's going through the jungle. Ooh. Oh, that one fell off! Rescue the ladybugs! I will oh. say ladybugs, because there's now two on the floor. Yeah, because the other one fell off. No. Come on. See, they want to live with us. Bye bye, ladybugs! Bye bye, ladybugs! To my rose bush. I think we're gonna find a lot more of them before we're done. But it's cool. Ladybugs don't harm, so we're not worried. I'm pretty sure there's probably a few crawling around the flat, and everyone we find, we're going to make sure it gets outside safely. Probably put it in with my roses um, because they will kill off all the yucky bugs that my roses should not have and keep my roses lovely. So, um, yeah, we think. 
we're gonna have to be really careful when we clean my chair down because of the ladybugs. All the other bugs, we don't care about. Ladybugs, we care about. Have you got another one? No, I'm just looking to see if there's any more. Because I don't, cause I don't want to step on them either. Look at that tree. One thing John requested this year was a new um, tree stand, so we bought this one, um, it wasn't cheap, it was 30 quid, um, but as you can see it holds quite a big tree chunk, um, it did have a label on it so I could show you the name of it, but John's already taken it off, you have the ability to screw it into the floor too if you needed to, because they got this these holes here. Um, but yeah, my tree skirt I have will go beautifully around this as well, which means then because it will go at a slight angle, it won't be so much on the floor, which won't be in the way of John's new train. Oh, my other bean bag, thank you. So that was his one request this year was for a new tree holder. So that's what we've got. So and now he says, Oh, I wonder if it's too tall. There's me. All I could do was walk up and down the middle bit. He could walk around all the trees. I think it's going to be perfect height because you, once you trim, no, once you trim it yeah. for the angel, it's going to be perfect height. Yeah, it's just right now. It's too tall, but that's because you haven't done the trim of it yet. Where are your shears? That's a good question. One fallen tree. Um, honey, it's definitely not too tall, it's just the perfect fit. <laughs> but how are we going to get the angel on? So we bought it with quite a tall top, because what we do is we trim it so that we can put the angel on and we trim it to the right thing. And we like to get one with a really good sturdy bit to hold the angel. So we did that on purpose. We probably need to go smaller than that. It's going to need to go smaller than that, honey. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure it wasn't sitting... ...on the roof, where we have a permanent mark now. Well, it's standing. It's definitely standing. We got to put one on street or not. Uh, I can't help you there. I have a tree over me. My Christmas leggings. One Christmas tree. <laughs> Hello, Christmas tree. It's a beautiful one. Yeah, I would take it down to about half the size of that and that should be perfect. Yeah, right now. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how richly God 
bells tagged me Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree How richly God has tagged me Thou bidst us true and faithful be And trust in God unchangingly Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree How richly God has tagged me lights on the tree because he we, you normally have to do them about two or three times till they are perfect right honey yeah we're both pretty perfectionists over our tree aren't we yes yes um he had done the lights and then i started putting the tinsel on and we noticed that as i was putting the tinsel on the lights were almost falling off so they just they just weren't right and it's because he was trying so hard to cover the tree in this set of lights and that set of lights that are now lighting up the kitchen in there um they look really, really cute on the floor i i'm actually wanting lights i want lights on my floor now <laughs> so we bought three sets that we could put them like around the outside of the um along the along the floor like scurfing yeah that would be cool <laughs> Um, so yeah, what we're doing is re the lights on. That's all we're going to do tonight is the lights, isn't it, honey? Yeah. Why are we only putting the lights on tonight, honey? Because we need more lights. <laughs> so, um, tomorrow John's going to go and get some more lights. There we go. I got a halo. <laughs> I'm an angel. You're an angel. Right. <laughs> um, honey, you do know that those lights are supposed to go on the tree, right? Yeah. I'm tangled in them. You're tangled in them? Yes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm tangled in them. We have a problem. You're tangled in the lights, and I'm not in my chair to help you. Uh, where would your chair go? <laughs> that is the point. This is why my chair is not in the lounge. There is no room for my chair. I am on the sofa supervising. <laughs> it is generally one of the times I really do struggle with a lot of stuff at Christmas. I get frustrated because I'm very specific and I've put that perfectionist onto John actually now, with, especially with the Christmas, Christmas tree. He's very perfectionist over his, the Christmas tree too now, but I think the first year I frustrated him so much because I had to get him to redo it about seven times. Yeah, I was ready to give up the first year. <laughs> and over the tinsel, I'm ready to give up on tinsel every, every single year. <laughs> but when it's actually done, it looks amazing. We're really proud it of it. It does look amazing. Like, we're not doing this next year. And here we are next year. <laughs> but we have to, we do admit the tree is a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. But we love it. We still love it. Absolutely love our tree. So. It wasn't a bad price for what it is either. No, it wasn't. It was really good price. It was, it was 45 pounds. 45 pounds for this tree. I mean, obviously, you can get one from Tesco's, but the difference is at Tesco's, 
they were probably cut down in November. Yeah, so they won't last as long. How so long have they been not having water? Yeah. This was, was literally growing the day to the moment it was cut. So we are going to probably be finish off decorating the tree tomorrow. But John's doing an amazing job with the lights. We like the lights tucked right in so that they glow within the tree. And then as we put the tinsel in, it will push some of them forward some. Because we tangle the tinsel in and out of the lights. So it makes all more sense when you see it done. So my naughty little elf has his own furniture. And he has normally has his own little area. He joined us last year, was it, John? So he has his own little bed. Um, which I made him and it's got little hearts on it and then he's got a little blanket a little pillow and he also has his own fireplace oh. Oh. which has some little toys on that and some little toys on the top here but one of the candy canes has come off so I've got to attach that back on it's no problem and then there's the magic door until the magic door is placed out with all his furniture Elf cannot come out and the magic door can't go out until the tree is properly decorated and he also has his own Christmas tree and he has his own chair as well and again I need to fix that there's a little bit of the gold gems come off there so our naughty little elf has lots but this year we have a special extra elf joining our naughty little elf so there'll be two of them we also have a clothesline um, so yeah once we get the tree decorated the furniture goes out and then the naughty little elf joins us and every day the naughty little elf will appear in different places and you guys get to find him in our videos because we're not going to tell you where he is what did you just say honey? I said he may even appear in alive Ooh. you mean he may come to life? no, in alive but not yeah, but if he's going to appear in a life, he'll have to come to life. No, I don't think you may see him in a life. Oh, he may position himself in the right place to be visible yes. in the life. Oh. And then if you show up in a live chat, there he is! <laughs> really? I wondered how long it would take. You love helping with the Christmas decorations. I know you do. You're normally out here a lot quicker than this. Where have you been? Look, I left you a pile of tinsel to jump in. You want the tinsel? What's this? What's this, baby? <laughs> nope, not today. Misty Boo. Come on then. Hello, gorgeous. Except, hey, yeah. Uh, except now you want lights on the floor. <laughs> no, not really. It looks pretty bad, don't So Misty is actually really good. He does not... You, no, you cannot play with Naughty Little Elf. Misty's quite good in with trees. He will never, ever go up... He will never play with the trees. Um, when he was a kitten, the very first Christmas... In fact, I have a photo of him. From the very first Christmas. It's pretty cute, actually. Are you going to go help Daddy with the lights? Go on, pull it again. Do it slowly. Are you helping Daddy with the lights? No, okay. Boring. I thought he was going to go for him, but he didn't. Me too, honestly. 
Meow. He's like, I know Santa's coming soon. Meow. Where's your stocking? Huh? Where's your stocking? Meow. Yeah, that's where the naughty little elf is. So. Misty Mo. You like Christmas, don't you? Yes, you do. I was saying about you on your first Christmas. So yeah, here's a picture of Misty when he was a kid on his first Christmas. Now, on his very first Christmas, he did try and climb up the Christmas tree and he fell and the tree fell and it scared him. So, from that day on, he's never climbed the Christmas tree. So, we are very lucky for that fact that he does not touch the Christmas tree at all. But he does love Christmas. And pretty much normally, as soon as we get the Christmas stuff out, he's right out here with us, isn't he? Yeah, but we notice he's sleeping more and more and more. The kids are getting old now. I think he is getting old. Why are you getting old? I don't want you to get old. Yeah, I love you too. Yes, I do. Or is mummy giving you too much catnip? Is that the problem? Well, it can't be the problem because I haven't given you catnip for a while. Maybe that's what I need to do. Give you more catnip. Huh? Mummy need uh, you mummy need you're just gonna be keep you Ooh, kisses for everybody. Kisses. <laughs> you're too cute, Misty. You're too cute. What's daddy doing? Huh? What's daddy doing? Do you feel better now, Misty? Because you were poorly this morning, weren't you? You tell everybody what you did. Say so I went out and I ate grass, so then I was sick. Because I ate grass. Yes, I love you too, baby. I love you too. What is it exactly you would like? Would you like the tinsel? Is that what you're after? Mr. Moon, what she got on you? <laughs> I found it, Misty. I found your tinsel. It is. Misty. There it is. It's your tinsel. Um, honey, what is that? Um, I took to clean your chair. What do you attempt mean, to attempt to clean my chair? It's an attempt to clean your chair. That is a hell of a lot of mud. There's still more on our chair. Are you serious? I, I, I'm actually serious. The tread of both main drive wheels is chock full of it still. That is a lot of freaking mud. That was just what was stuck in the stabilizer wheels and on the back side of the main drive wheels. Ah, all of that mud! So guys, now wet. you can understand why our floors get disgustingly dirty. That was just one simple trip out to get a tree. Well guys, because we're not going to finish our tree tonight, and because John's getting tangled in the lights <laughs> again um I'm gonna call it a night here and um chill out a bit with John finish doing a bit more with the tree and uh we will see you tomorrow thank you for joining us in our crazy world bye